Hello friends. So I'm going to run a few experiments today to see if I can show you a few different ways to do um, a simplify, simplified version of marbling at home. So I'm going to experiment with shaving foam and on plain water and I'm going to be using um, some cheap acrylics. I mean I think this was like a pound off of Amazon. I'm not sure where this one came from. This is Reeves acrylic. We've got some Paveo acrylic and I've got some System 3. And I'm also going to experiment with um, poster paint, just water-based powder pigment. A lot of people will probably have this kind of stuff lying around at home. So I've just got some of that mixed with water and we're going to see how that works on the water without any additives but I've got a feeling it's going to sink straight away um, and then we'll probably add some washing up liquid to it to get it to float properly. So we're going to kick off, I'm going to move the camera so that you can just see what I'm doing. So to begin with all I've got here is just a simple small little Tupperware pot that you've probably got at home and this is just filled up with ordinary plain tap water. And now we're going to see what happens when we put on powdered paint. So I've, I've mixed in a little bit of water, stirred it in so it's nice and smooth. And now we're going to see what happens when you put that on the surface. So to apply the paint, I'm just going to use equivalent of um, I think these are hair roller pins plastic hair roller pin but you could use like an the end of a plastic paintbrush or a toothpick so let's see what happens when we put this on the surface without any additive yeah sink straight away so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a, a tiny little bit of washing up liquid. So in here I've just put one drop of ordinary washing up liquid. The brand I've got is Fairy, so it's concentrated. So I've just put one drop and, and then filled up this little jam jar with water. So I've stirred that in. So now I'm going to add to this by increments. using a pipette. So I'm just going to add one, two, three, four, five, six. Stir that in. So this is now poster paint, water, and a very tiny amount of washing up liquid. And now we're going to see how that floats. Okay, it's starting to float better, but it's still sinking. So I'm going to add another one, two, three, four, five, six. So we've got 12 drops of watered down washing up liquid. Stir that in. So 12 drops of washing up liquid powdered paint and water. Floating better, but still sinking. So it expands, contracts, and then starts to pull down. To be honest, that looks, I don't know if you can see from that camera angle, but the way that it's pouring down from the top is really interesting. So that's one thing you can do with your kids. You can sort of see it. It's, it's really interesting to see how it kind of expands on the bottom. I mean, you wouldn't be able to capture that on paper, but it's fun. So I'm going to add another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Who's keeping track? How many is that? So that's 12 plus 10. 12 plus 10, anyone? That's right, 52. 
Yeah, maths has never been my strong point. So 10 plus 12, 20, so we've got 22 drops of watered down washing up liquid, the powdered paint and water. So it definitely expanded better. Is it gonna sink? It is starting to sink, but much more slowly. So I'm gonna add another 10. So we've got 22. So that'll make three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now we've got 32 drops. Oh yeah, much better. So this is just plain water we've got in here, remember. When I'm working, I normally thicken the water with um, carrageen or methyl cellulose. So when I make up kits for people that come and so people come and have a lesson with me and then I make up kits for them, I use normally give them methyl cellulose because it's cheaper and easier to use. So some of you might be able to get hold of that. I mean I sell it, you can buy it off of me. Some people use watered down um, wallpaper paste as well. Okay, I think I'm gonna add ten more. So we've got 32 plus 10, so this is going to be 42, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Actually, let's make it up to 50. Let's add another 8. 1, 2, 3, 4. You can report back on my math skills. So I reckon we've got 50 drops. So this is the watered washing up liquid. If you put neat washing up liquid in there, you, it's much harder to control the dilution. You'd end up with too much, then it would you'd lose control of it. So by adding water, doing it in a separate jar, jar, and then adding it with a pipette by increments, you can do it step by step, stage by stage. So it's a good, it's a good bit of science going on as well here, isn't it? Getting your kids to apply a method. Okay, so we've got 50 watered down drops of washing up liquid, powdered paint. There we go. So that isn't sinking at all, this one. Okay, so let's see what happens when you put... So with my marbling, normally it would expand in perfect circles. So I wouldn't be happy about these broken edges. But to have a bit of fun, so I'm just using black, but I don't see any reason why it wouldn't work with all your different colours. So have an experiment at home with the different powdered colours you got. Mix in some washing up liquid, plain bit of water. So it is starting to sink as the surface tension is rising. So if you want to put lots of colour on there probably going to have to add a little bit more washing up liquid. So I'm going to, so we've got 50 drops, I'm going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so we've got about 60 now. So what's happening, because we've got more washing up liquid in there, it's breaking the surface tension and expanding more, so it's not sinking, it's floating floating on the top. But if it sits on there for a long time, you can see it start to sink. So now I'm gonna see what happens when we gently mix it on the surface. Okay, it doesn't really wanna. Kind of fragmenting, it's not really staying together. Now I can see what happens when you capture it onto paper. Okay, you've got an interesting effect. So we've shown that you can get poster powder paint to float. You carefully mix it with washing up liquid. 
So I'm going to put even more washing up liquid in here now and see what happens. So we've got 60. I'm going to give it another one, two, three, four, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're up to 80. Let's go. Let's go for 100. I'm going to put another 10, 20 in. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, more or less. I'm going to see what happens when I flick it with the brush. Actually, I'm just going to touch it on with the brush, see what that does. Whoa, check that out. Oh, that's good fun. Yeah, that is good fun. So you can imagine if you had different colours, different powdered. So that's washing up liquid. So I put 100 drops of the water down washing up liquid. Let's see if this one stays together when you move it. That does stay together a bit better. Let's see what happens when you blow it. See what happens when you flick it on. So if you put too much on, it does start to sink. Well, look, I think that's worth an experiment with your poster paints at home. I'm not going to do any more with that because I want to move on and see what happens with the acrylics. But I think that's worth trying. So that's poster powdered paint. So if you've got powdered paint, put a bit of water in, mix it up, and then gradually add washing up liquid diluted washing up liquid by increments and just experiment with how that's going to flow. Then you can start playing around with the colours on the surface so you can either add it with a brush or with a tool. So now there's more washing up liquid in there it's starting to expand in nice circles so you can imagine if you had four or five different colours you could make some quite nice colour combinations there. But I'm going to leave it there with the poster paint and carry on with the acrylics. See you in the next vid.